<laughs> Did you really think you'd be able to... <laughs> so, guess that's it, huh? Just don't say I didn't warn you. Well, I'm going to grill these. Papyrus, do you want anything? <laughs> No, no. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, morning, bro. It's night. Or maybe. It's hard to tell time here. Sans, did you have a nightmare? <laughs> I guess I did. It was pretty real. Sans, do you need to talk? What was it about? Kid, you didn't. Papyrus! Papyrus, no! Papyrus! You can't be dead! Uh, no. It wasn't that bad. Hmm. Well, since you don't feel like telling me, I know it will cheer you up. Once we get you some proper rest, then we can finally go recalibrate all your puzzles! Whoa. Until then... I, the Great Papyrus, will allow you to sleep in my bed for a night of sleep in peace. No, I'm good here. I think I'll stay. Huh? Why? I think something's wrong with the stairs. What's wrong with the stairs? They're fine. I don't know. I just don't trust them because they're always up to something. Bed. Now. Okay. Okay, Sans, today is the day! I can feel it, Sans! I can feel it in my bones! That was good. I know, but today is the day a human will arrive, and we must be ready. Sans, go on ahead to your post. I will stay in mine. Okay, Paps. Oh, and no slacking off! I'll know if you do! Got it. Hmm? Is... Is that what I think it is? It is! A human! Man, Paps is so smart. Seems I have no choice. Besides, this would make Bro so happy. Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyway, you're a human, right? <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. What? What's going on? What are you even doing? <laughs> Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to see? Oh my god! It's a human! Okay, go ahead, human! You! What a busy day of capturing humans! Oh, Sam, this is perfect! Stay here and stall the human, will you? I must prepare the ultimate puzzle! Okay, have fun! Hmm? Hey, kiddo. Having fun with Papyrus' puzzles? Uh oh. You look pretty. chill to the bone. <laughs> you're right. That's not funny. Especially when you're cold. You know, you made Papyrus really happy today, so you'll have to give it back later. But for now, consider it a thank you gift. Mm. There, that'll keep you warm. No worries about it being on you. Just don't go and jack it. <laughs> huh? You want me to carry you? Well, okay, but I don't do this for just anyone. Okay. Let's see what Paps is planning. Hmm? Ah, 
human. Welcome to, uh, Sans? What are you doing? Sorry, bro. I was overpowered by them. Overpowered? You were supposed to stall them, not carry them. I'll never be in the royal guard under these conditions. I guess the human just found a way under my skin. Sans, no! Sans, yes. Besides, the human was freezing cold. Oh no! Are they alright? Yeah. Just didn't figure you want to deliver a human popsicle to Undyne. Hmm. Then I guess this calls for drastic measures! Yeah! Comfortable human? Well, you should be. I have procured you only the warmest of blankets. You also have a cup of the finest cocoa. You have been most formidable. So I, the great papyrus, would like to learn your name. I don't think they speak, Paps. Oh no! This is the worst possible thing! Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think human has a better ring to it. So human, you are my prisoner. It has been very fun finding another puzzle lover like myself. However, you must stay here to stay safe. You must not let yourself freeze out there. Thank goodness the great virus was here to save you. Okay, human. Now stay in the shed. Good job, bro. Knew you could do it. Yeah. Uh-oh. I know that face. What's wrong? Yeah. Aw, oh, come on, Paps. You can tell me anything. Yeah. Sans, I really want to be in the Royal Guard. But this human, if I bring them to Undyne, Undyne will bring them to Asgore. I did not expect to like a human so much. Well, what should I do? Bro, you're the coolest, smartest set of bones I know. Whatever decision you make will be the right one. And whichever it is, I will support it. Aww. Thank you, Sans. <laughs> Don't look now. The human is out. Yeah? Told you we need to fix that lock. What? <laughs> no! Stop, human! You don't want to catch a cold. <sighs> Man, I am bone tired. <laughs> Paps can handle this now. Time for the mid-morning nap. <laughs> huh? Uh. Uh. Hey, wait! Huh. No, Untie, you can't. The human. No, that thing. It can't be stopped. You saw what it did to. I mean, what it's been doing to everyone. You need to escape. We have to evacuate. No, I can't, Alphys. But you. You have to prepare. Prepare for the evacuation. But you know I have to fight. Uh, Undyne, did you come here because- Because I think I'm going to die? Ha! Never! I'll kill it! Just prepare for the worst and hope for the best. I can feel the whole world chanting for me. I can't lose. So don't cry, Alphys. Huh? Sans, I... Huh? Oh, hey, Undyne. Sorry about that. You scared the carp out of me. Uh... <laughs> right. That's just how you are. I have to go. I can't waste any more time. Undyne! Don't worry, Alfie. I'm going to fix everything. Just believe in me, okay? Okay. And, uh, Sans, I... I loved him, too. Sans? Mm -hmm. Sans, wait! You don't want to watch this! The cameras are focused on the human! Elfie, does this machine keep records of its videos? Yes. Why? Do you also have cameras around Snowden? No! Don't make me... Don't make me see it again! No, 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 no! Papyrus! Papyrus, no! Not again! Papyrus! Papyrus! Papyrus. Brother? Are you Papyrus. calling... Sans? Human! Stay there! Shut the door! Sans! 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 Calm down! Sans, I'm here! Papyrus is here! I'm here! Sans! I'm here! I... I'm here! Sans! 
whatever you saw about me, it's not real. I'm safe, right here with you. Uh, uh, perhaps. Bro, I... No, Sans. You don't have to talk about it. If you don't want. Thank you. Sans! Uh, maybe until these nightmares blow over, you can stay in my room with me. You did really well last night. <laughs> nah, I, I like the couch. And I... I'm gonna head to Groby's. Sans, please, don't run away. You don't have to talk about it, but don't run, please. You can join me in the human sleepover. Maybe it'll help. Papyrus, the kiddo, is sleeping in your room tonight? Yeah. Remember, I chased after the human and had to fight them? But during the fight, they started flirting with me. So we dropped the whole thing and went on a date. But I realized during the date, I simply did not have such feelings for the human. By then, it was getting kind of late. The human tried to stay at the inn, but apparently it was too noisy. So they came back, and you read us part of my favorite bedtime story. Oh, that's right, Paps. You know, maybe instead of rubies, we can finish that story together. Sans, I would love that. But you don't have to, really. Not after what you went through. No, I think this will help me feel better, too. I... Oh, human, I told you to stay upstairs. Oh? Huh? Oh, uh, hi, kid. Oh, no. Did I scare you? I'm sorry. <laughs> kid, I'm okay. You don't need to cry. Everything's all right. His parents were so excited to see him, the fluffy bunny ran over and gave his parents the biggest hug they've ever felt in their lives. And then the fluffy bunny was no longer sad. The end. Oh, that ending always gets me. Thank you, brother. Yep. Hey, if you want, we can try to make a spot for you on the bed. Nah, you know I can sleep anywhere. Here is fine. You just get a good rest, bro. Oh, alright. If you're sure, have a great sleep, brother. <laughs> you too. Yeah. Uh, Sans, you, you're awake before me? <laughs> Morning, bro. Wait! Sans, you didn't sleep at all! Sans, it looks almost as if you were staying up on purpose to protect me from some unseen, possibly imaginary threat. Uh. But that's silly! We both know I'm the stronger brother! I protect you! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopee cushion in your coat? I can't believe you start this early! I don't know. I thought it was the breath of fresh air. No! Come on, Pats. I think you need to take all that pent-up rage and just release it. You're literally the worst ever! Move on ahead, kid. I gotta change my jacket. See you for breakfast. Be right down. <laughs> Honestly, Sans. Either way, the human told me something. After breakfast, they're going to leave. They're very determined to get home, apparently. It makes me feel very conflicted, human. I think I... I would miss having you around. Hmm? Human? What are... <gasps> you spit out my delicious spaghetti just so you could give me such a wonderful message? Oh, I'll be looking forward to each and every visit. Waterfall is much warmer than here, so your outfit should be fine. Oh, I hope you come back often. You've been such a good friend. Hey, kiddo. After my nap, I'll come find you. We can grab groovies, okay? Maybe Undyne will go easy on them. Fear not. I will simply tell Undyne the human is wearing an old tutu. The human would never be caught dead in such a thing. Heh. <laughs> 
You're the smartest skill ever. Um, so, Sans, now that we're alone, I wanted to say something. Hmm? Bro? Okay, it has to do with all your recent nightmares. Uh, bro, you told me I didn't have to talk about it. Oh, and you still don't. If you don't want, I just... Sans, I know you better than anyone. And I also know you tend to... Well, you don't tell me much, Sans. I can tell you hide a lot from me. A lot about you. And I also know that you probably believe you're protecting me by pushing away. But, Sans, I'm an adult. And a most dedicated brother and friend. And I can handle it. No, I want to handle it. Side by side with you. But it's just way less that way. For both of us, I think. And maybe you'd feel just a little bit better? Perhaps. Yes, brother? I saw... No, I felt myself die. I felt myself turn to dust. Wait, you what? Yeah, it was real. Very, very real. It was like another lifetime. I wasn't the only one who died. I only saw bits and pieces, but I felt the rest. In my dream, I watched Undyne leave to fight. But I knew, no, we both knew she was walking to her death. And I know, monsters were dying. Everyone was dying. And Papyrus... Papyrus? No. Never. I won't let myself see it happen. I can't. I couldn't handle it. How did I handle it then? Why did I make myself watch the recordings of Snowden? <laughs> okay, okay, Sans, okay. You don't have to keep going. You're okay. Everyone is okay. Everyone is okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. I feel much better. You're the coolest. Well, brother, under normal circumstances, I would agree. Right now, however... What? I am in the presence of the true coolest brother in the world! Bro, what? That's right! I don't care who knows! Like you! Looking for an awesome new brother? Well, too bad! Sans here is already taken! What? <laughs> Perhaps no! You too! My brother is all mine! Hey you! Bro, I swear, I don't know if I love you or hate you right now. That's a silly thing to say, Sans! You could never hate me! Sans? Oh, right. You've had pretty much zero hours of sleep. Okay, okay, let's get you home, Sleepy Bones. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sup, Paps? Sans, you're awake, and no nightmares! Yeah, looks like it. Oh, the TV. Sorry, bro, I didn't mean to. What? Don't be ridiculous, Sans! Besides, the sound still works great, so I can get to hear my sexy rectangle at least. S sexy rectangle? Uh, where exactly did you hear that word? Oh, remember? We were talking about the box of pasta. No, not rectangle. The word sexy. Oh, Alphys told me that one. She calls Undyne and meditates on that all the time. She told me it's like a really nice compliment. She did now, huh? Yep. So I've been using it for everyone I care about. Undyne, Alphys, Sans even- Stop, this is making me uncomfortable. Uh, I mean, Papyrus, I'm sure she didn't know any better. But I have to tell you, it might be different in Hotland, but around Snowden, that is a very bad word. Huh? Yeah. Oh no, I had no idea. I've been calling you such bad things. Why would she do this? It's okay, bro. It was probably an accident. I'll go talk to her, okay? Just wait. Oh, this is the best part. Cool. Hey, Alfie. Heard you're teaching my bro swears? Uh... Sam's? 
What are you doing? Oh, you know, I thought you gills would like a friendly visit. Don't be so coy. Sam, stop. Anyway, Elphys, I've got a bone to pick with you. Uh... My brother was saying the word sexy earlier. Uh... You wouldn't happen to know why, would you? Uh, Sam, I'm so sorry. I didn't know he was in the room. Tisk tisk, Elphys. Okay, but what the hell? Also, sexy isn't a curse word, Sam. It is when I hear Pap saying it. Like I said, I'm so sorry. I saw a hot pick of my favorite character and it just came out. Okay, okay, Alphys. You're forgiven. Just be careful. Thank you. So, she's not allowed to say sexy in front of the pirates? That and all other words on her list. List? Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I have the swear list right here. See? Hmm. Hey, look at my wrist. It's time for my mid-morning breakfast with the human. You girls have fun. Not a single word on this list is an actual swear word. What the? Crunk? Frumpus? Flumpin? And... Wait, what the hell is... Is that the pirate with a pineapple for a head? Why? Is it a pun? What the hell? Uh... Wait, what did that damn skeleton just say? Human? I know! Yeah. Dons, you're back. What happened? She said she's sorry. It was a miscommunication. She promised she never meant to upset you, Paps. Anyway, I think I'm gonna head over and grab the kids to get some breakfast. Sounds good, brother. Speaking of the human, Sans, have you considered, well, have you considered telling the human about these bad dreams? Mm, yeah, a little bit. Why? Well, the nightmare started right before they appeared. I thought somehow they have something to do with it? Yeah. Thanks, bro. No prob. Have a good breakfast, brother. Thanks. See you later. Bye! Hey, kiddo. Hmm? Something the matter? You look distracted. No? Alright then. Sorry I'm a little late. What do you say we head to Groovies? I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Hey, Sam! Hi, Sam! Greetings, Sam! Hiya, Sansy! Hey, Sam! You're late today! Usually, this is your second breakfast. Sorry, buddy. I do not know what happened. I couldn't get out of bed if I fried this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. <laughs> Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groovy, we'll have a double order of Berg. I've said something like this before, but having you around has made my brother very happy. I know eventually you'll have to be captured and brought to Asgore, but... Don't know. Guess I kind of wish it didn't have to happen. Heh. <laughs> There's been something odd. Something I've been trying to figure out. Well, maybe not figure out. It's maybe more like, accept what I already know. Be honest with me, kid. I won't judge. Have we met before? And if that's the case... Did you hurt them? My friends. My family. Me. Did you kill us all, Frisk? Thanks, Groby. Looks great. You can have mine, kiddo. These things just go right through me. <laughs> hmm? Was that you? You can talk. Kid. I said, you remember when I killed everyone, Sam? <laughs> that look on your face. That's the look of someone who's very, very mad. So... How did you do it? After all, up until now, all you did was mumble about reports and time anomalies. But it was pretty obvious you never experienced an anomaly personally. Wait, that's what your nightmares have been about, isn't it? <laughs> so you've only been remembering pieces. 
that whatever you tried in the last timeline obviously didn't work right. Though it's obviously made you suffer. Never seen you cry before, Sam. <laughs> yeah, looks like you got me, kid. Glad I brought you out today. I learned a lot. Uh... I got a lot of questions answered. So thanks, kiddo. Here's a little treat for you, you know? Because you deserve it. Sans, come on. I think it's pretty clear I can reset anything you do. So what- Get those on, you gross piece of garbage! Oh, Groovy, sorry about the counter. I was really mad. Yeah, I got enough to pay for the repairs. You know, if the world doesn't reset, and if it does, See you on the other side, buddy. I know, it does make sense. I know. Hey, what do you know? Look at that, kid. Feels like I'm looking straight into a mirror. <laughs> uh, something the matter, buddy? You looking pretty chill to the bone. Yeah, sorry, sorry about, about that. that. I, just I just had a skill of ton of things on my mind. mind. Oh no, what, what a predicament. predicament. I know. I went to a doctor, but he wasn't very humorous. Oh, and why is that? Well, I told him all about my problems. So he saw right through you? Yeah, but he wasn't very sympathetic. Why? Did he call you, uh, Bonehead? <laughs> wait, wait, I got one. Did you hear about the guy who invented the knock-knock joke? Let me guess, he won the Nobel Prize! <laughs> it's almost like, I know what you're gonna say? <laughs> oh, sorry kid. <laughs> so, that kid, and all this. Oh yeah, you're probably pretty confused. Hey kid, go play somewhere. Me and other Sans gotta talk. Nope, a temper tantrum will not change my mind. Uh, okay, okay. Only because I love you, Frisk. There, now go play, kid. The human plays with the gastroblasters? <laughs> yeah, I pull them out to try and kill the kid, but instead the kid will befriended them. Huh. The kid yeah, I know isn't that nice. Yeah, you've been dealing with Chara. The real Frisk is this one. And they've been trapped here longer than me. Hmm. <laughs> and the elephant in the room. How are you not dead? <laughs> Who said I was alive? Calm down. <laughs> I'm not dead. Part alive, baby. Somewhere between the two. We're starting at the wrong part anyway. First, I want to apologize for the nightmares. That wasn't intentional. Neither was this. Or... us. We were not supposed to exist like this. It really started when I watched the videos of Snowden. I wanted to make sure. Maybe the kid didn't mean to kill Paps. I mean, Paps wouldn't hurt a fly. But nope. Papyrus spared the child. And without a second thought, Papyrus was murdered. Undyne had died. Alphys begged me to evacuate. I think maybe she knew what I was planning to do. I went down to the true lab. Even with Papyrus's death, I might have just let it all continue. I knew avenging him was pointless. I knew saving everyone was pointless. The reports taught me well. No matter what I did here, time would reset. We would all forget the details. And the anomaly would continue to play with our lives. Like we were a bunch of toys in a toy box. <laughs> you know how we are. Normally we'd go to sleep, pretend it's a bad dream. But as my timeline progressed, the reports coming in got worse and worse. If I let this continue, the world would reset as it always does. And in the next timeline, yours actually, a week into that timeline, all timelines would end forever. All timelines would end forever. Yep, and that kid had to be the cause of it. By the time you started receiving the information, you were too busy protecting Papyrus. Hmm, you were watching? Yeah, I can witness the world, not so much interact. Either way, I might have been able to beat the kid on my own. 
but this was too important. I had nothing else to lose. So if it didn't work, oh well. No skin off my bones. <laughs> Honestly, I thought I was just going to melt. And I did, almost. But I wouldn't let myself. Either way, determination is one hell of a drug. I already had determination from when, well, you know. But I was hoping maybe more would give me what I needed. In desperation, I hoped that once I killed the kid, that I might have enough determination to surpass theirs. Enough to gain control of the timeline, and the power to stop resets forever. The kid died, and somehow, I found myself here. Determination allowed me to find this pocket in space-time. This was it. I finally had answers. This is how the human was manipulating time. But now, I could do it too. I could stop everything from ending. I could really save everyone. Guess it doesn't always work out as you planned it. Uh oh, sorry, Sans. Looks like the world finally reset. Time for you to go. Wait, but there's still a lot I don't understand. I know. I'll try to see if we can speak again directly in your dreams. I still don't know the limits of what I can do now, but there is one big thing you have to remember. Char is in possession of Frisk's body. And you alter the timeline by killing Chara. That means Chara is going to hone in on you. The playing field has changed. Chara is interested in the world again. We have to keep Chara interested, Sans. If Chara gets bored, all existence will cease to be. You have to keep Chara amused until we figure out how to stop them from ending everything. And no matter what Chara does, you have to endure for the sake of everyone. <laughs> I can do that. After all, nothing gets under my skin. <laughs> we always wear a fun bag of bones. <laughs> Alright, I'll send you back into the timeline. But just one final thing, okay? Please. Well, it's about... <laughs> I mean, Pyrus. He looked so happy. I just... thank you. Thank you for being good to him. Of course. <sighs> Alright. Well, see you on the other side, buddy. Huh? <laughs> Ow. Okay, that one. <laughs> that took a lot out of me. <laughs> Sorry, kiddo. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare ya. Huh? Oh! Sorry. There. You don't have to see it. I'm okay now, see? No problem. It's okay. We'll get through this, kid. I'm not going anywhere, okay? I'm not going anywhere. What? Sounds! <laughs> Oh, uh, morning, bro. It's night! Or maybe. Hard to tell time here. Sans, did you have a nightmare? I, whoa, uh, nah, I just fell off the couch. Sans, are you being entirely honest with me? Do you need to talk? Yeah, I'm good. You know what, Paps? I'm just excited because I think tomorrow is the big day. Huh? You have that feeling, too? That is a great sign! Now I know a human will most certainly come tomorrow! Whoa! If that's the case, we both need rest! Let's head off to bed! <laughs> okay... Uh. Okay, Sans! Today is the day! Nyahaha! I can feel it, Sans! I can feel it! In my bones! That was good! I know! Go to your post! Oh, and no slacking off! Got it! Gee, <sighs> huh? Sans, you sure are an idiot. Huh. Well, look at that. Please, Sans, don't act like you haven't seen me. I'm Flowey, Flowey the Flower, and you made a very stupid mistake. A stupid mistake, huh? Well, do you mind chlorophylling me in? Um... You 
aren't seriously doing this now, are you? What? Is there some sort of stigma around me knowing? Stop! What? Am I making you pun comfortable? Stop, 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 stop! If you don't stop, then I am leaving and not coming back! Hey, okay. So, what's up, little guy? Looks like you got some advice. <laughs> advice? Too late for that, you bonehead. Aw, thanks, you old charmer. That wasn't a compliment. I'm talking about Chara. You're stupid because you approached Chara about the reset. Do you have any idea the hell they're going to put you through? <laughs> I have some guesses. But I don't think you came here just to mock me. You came to tell me you know about the resets. And you came to tell me you remember them, right? You're so smug. <laughs> I thought it was a skeleton. Fine. That was part of it. The other part, obviously, is that now you're finally useful. We have that other Sans perpetually dying in the save screen, who will just turn to dust if he leaves. Then we got Frisk, who doesn't even have a body, so they're useless too. But you? Even if it's with the other fans' help, you come back here with memories! Hmm, sounds like you want to save the universe. I want to save myself. So here's the deal. We need to get you off having to rely on the other Sans' determination. He's crazy. You have to go to the lab and... Nope, nuh -uh. Huh? I've seen the results of all that extra determination. So yep, no thanks. You wouldn't use the whole vial! Sorry, bud. I trust myself a bit more than I trust you. I don't care if you trust me. Just listen. He exists in an entirely different reality. He's not you. Not really. For example, he talks to himself as if someone else is there. The guy's been through hell. I got no place to judge. Yeah, are you smart or something, huh? Tara, before I go, one final thing. You constantly hide things from everyone. Your brother, your friends. Everyone, don't lie, I've seen you in many timelines. So who's to say he won't leave things out or tell lies of his convenience? Think about it. See you later, fans. <laughs> oh. I'm still not sure about this child. I, I shouldn't... Huh? Oh. Skeleton, I have no quarrel with you, but understand. Let me in this human pass peacefully, or you will regret it. Uh, hey, don't mind me. Not the fighting type. You'd probably kill me right away, so nah. Go on ahead. Hmm? Wait just a moment. Your voice. Where? Wait a minute. I know you. We always talk through the door. Huh? Whoa, hey. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans, and, uh, same. I'm surprised you didn't seem interested in coming out of the ruins. Well, it really wasn't, but this child, we had a long talk last night, and I realized letting humans leave to face Asgore alone, well, it made me no better than Asgore. So, I felt I should protect them personally. <laughs> Whatever floats your goat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sans. Okay, okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Etch. Etch who? Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't stand a chance next to such a pro. I'm glad. Of all the monsters to meet first, I'm glad it's the one who promised to never harm a human. Yeah, I never hurt an innocent. <laughs> I absolutely agree. Brother, I forgot to mention! P perhaps uh, maybe you should go back to your pose. Wait. Perhaps as in Papyrus? Is this your brother? Huh? Your Majesty? Did you cut off your beard? Oh, 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 you mean Asgore? No, I'm Toriel. Hey, Papyrus, what does the skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snow-proof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. Sans, who is this lady and why does she talk like you? Oh. Thank you. Wowee! You're very good at puzzles! <laughs> Thank you very much. The ruins have many of them. It's odd. You like puzzles and puns. Honestly, Sans, you should have told me about this lovely goat clone. She likes puzzles, so she's at least half cool. 
Nah, how else could I keep up my mysterious loner thing? Seems to me someone's got to find your skeleton key, Mr. Loner. <laughs> you go to be kidding me. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm? You know what? We should celebrate. Groovies? My treat. Groovies? Yeah, we passed it on the way. It's pretty good. Ah, uh, Groovies. Normally I'd say no, but with such good guests, a good host I will be. Suppy. Yes, it is I, the Great Papyrus, ready to order. Well, this is it. I know you don't like it here, so thank you. Oh, no problem. And you too, Sans. Treating us like this is so thoughtful. Yeah, no prob. I wasn't sure if leaving the ruins was right, but all of you... Well, I guess I just haven't been this happy in a while. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> no probs. Yeah. That's right! I forgot! I need to use the bathroom! Sans does too! Uh... No time to be shy, brother! Let's go! Uh... Oh ho! Nah -ha. I see what's going on here. You can't pull wool over the eye sockets of the great papyrus. This new goat clone, you want to pull her into the friend zone, huh? Hmm? But don't worry, Sans. I have great books on friendship that can- Papyrus, wait. Hmm? That's real nice, Paps. I'm sure it'll help me be friends with Tor. So, listen, you trust me, no matter what, right? Huh? Of course. So, even if you don't understand why, when I ask you, no, beg you, when I beg you to never allow yourself to be alone with the human, you'll listen, right? Oh, uh, of course, brother. But what's wrong with them? It's better if you didn't know. I see. Sans, may I say something? Huh? Uh, sure. I've been thinking this for a while, so here goes. Sans, you're my brother. I know you better than anyone. And I also know you tend to... Well, you don't tell me much, Sans. I can tell you hide a lot from me. A lot about you. And I also know that you probably believe you're protecting me by pushing away. But, Sans, I... Uh? Are you okay? Yeah, fine, bro. Huh? Yeah? Oh shit, did I kill anyone? Huh? Hmm? Hey, what is sh- I said shed! Undyne said shit. Shed. <laughs> you know how waterfall accents are. We always make words sound so wacky. <laughs> <laughs> how right you are, Undyne. Oh, shed. Okay, that makes more sense. Though you certainly can't see our shed from here. Nah. Child, <laughs> get away from her. Golly, what happened since we left? It's been like two seconds. <laughs> Who knows? I'll go see what's happening. Be careful, bro. So freaking sorry for the curse and the, the spear. <laughs> Strike one. Coming, paps. I gotta find myself less creepy friends. Now, listen carefully, warrior. I don't want to harm anyone. I really don't. I only want to navigate this youth safely through the underground. But I cannot allow someone so blatantly flipping spears around to threaten children. That one was an accident. I was trying to look threatening. But it really is you, isn't it? Queen Toriel. Everyone believed you were dead by now. Ex-Queen. I gave that up a long time ago. I mean it. Don't make me hurt you. <sighs> How could you protect them? They're the final soul we need! They're the seventh human to fall! No, they're not! They are the eighth human child to fall! You will not pretend Char never existed! If you have to try to look threatening, then that means you either won't fight, 
or no, you lose. If Akor wants this child, warrior, then let that whelp come face me himself. Hmm. I can't possibly attack the queen. When the intel came in, the queen was escorting the human. I couldn't believe it. Just... Queen Toriel. How could you defend a human above your own? This is absolute betrayal. I am not defending humans above monsters. I am simply saving one more human child from a senseless murder. Senseless? I... <sighs> no point. You want Asgore? I'll bring him. Forget it. I'm done here. No! Undyne, this can't be! This is no way to start a friendship! That's it! The Great Papyrus won't allow this. There is only one way to become best friends, and that is through friendly competition! Huh. I really thought it was going to be cooking. It was going to be, but Grilby kicked us out. Undyne really doesn't like Hotland, so Metaton's kitchen is out. And our kitchen is unusable, so we have this. Papyrus, this is very lovely, but I'm not so sure... Ah, oh, come on! It'll be fun! I should really get to Asgore. Okay, first up! Fans, pick up that boulder! Uh, wait, me? Of course! We all must become better friends, and this is how! Um, what about you? Silly! I am Arnie the perfect friend! Okay, you can do it! Mm, I forfeit. <laughs> Thank you for trying very hard for friendship, Sam. What can I say? I don't have the muscles for it. Your turn, Undyne! Mm, okay, for you. And also because I lose to no one! <laughs> Check it! <sighs> Can't be that, can you? Wowza! Whoa. The power of friendship is so strong, it gave you the strength to lift boulders with one hand! Uh, hey, Undyne. What? Oh, Sans. Coming to threaten me again? What? Nah, just to ask a favor. Hmm, a favor, huh? Yeah, it's pretty important. I have to go talk to someone. Undyne, while I'm gone, promise me. Promise you'll never, never take your eyes off the human. This is serious isn't it? <laughs> More serious than you can imagine. That's why I need you to do this, okay? <laughs> okay. I'll keep everyone safe. Kid won't leave my sight. But, Sans, remember, whatever is going on, I'm your friend. You can tell me. Okay. Thanks, Undyne. But I really have to go. Alright. Hmm. Sans? Maybe he didn't get it to work? Hey there. Back so soon? Yep. Looks like you figured out how to talk in my dreams. Yep, it wasn't too hard. And we still have Frisk with us. So, what's up? Got any questions? Yeah, of course. I came back. Because this time, there's no time limit. The more I understand, the more I can help. So, last time we spoke, you said you could manipulate time now, too, right? I did say that, yeah. Though, I'm a bit of a dramatic storyteller. <laughs> Go play again, okay, Frisk? Frisk, no. This is private. Frisk. Okay, okay. The worst part of the story is over. Well, sort of. If you want, you can stay. <laughs> what can I say? Can't say no to you. Let's see. Oh, right. I was in the save screen. I thought I now had the power to manipulate time, but the reset option wouldn't work when I attempted it. Then, without warning, the world reset from the last save point. And me? I was back in the judgment hall, about to do the same battle over and over again. I kind of figured Frisk would leave at this part. My newfound determination allowed me to remember every single reset, but it wasn't enough to surpass the humans. So from then on, again, and again.
I fought. As time kept resetting, I started noticing something horrifying. After a while, I was predictable. Everything I did became predictable. And with each and every reset, the kid lasted longer. And with each reset, I grew more and more tired. The kid wasn't giving up. I knew they weren't going to. I was never going to see my loved ones again. And after 536 tries, the human succeeded. I was actually kind of relieved. So I left the judgment hall. And as soon as I was out of sight, I let myself collapse. <laughs> Hi, Paps. Sorry, I tried. I tried so hard at the end. But I guess it just wasn't enough. I guess I just couldn't save anyone. <laughs> huh? Wait, the save screen. Would it work? I'm half turned to dust. But maybe I can still save them. And with the snap of my fingers, I left time completely and never returned. But how is that possible? You were turning to dust. Ah, that. Well, when I showed up here, I was recreated from what was left over. Whatever wasn't dust yet. This left some undesirable results. I didn't have much matter left, so to recreate my body, it left some holes. Well, not just holes in the body. Since I've been here, I've only had about a ninth of a soul as well. And you want to know where the rest of the soul went? It went on to recreate the next dance. Wait, so I only have... I don't have a full soul? To be absolutely technical? Yeah. You've probably noticed something odd, but couldn't place it, right? Maybe something missing? Or odd behaviors? Things you don't normally do? Maybe issues with memory? At least, these are things I've noticed. Then again, maybe it's so bad with me because my soul is so small. Sans? Ah, actually, I prefer Geno Sans. Geno Sans? Why? Well, I don't feel like I deserve to be called Sans anymore. Not to mention, it's the name I deserve after I let everyone die. So, did I answer all your questions? I have plenty, but only one more that matters. Are you... are you doing alright? Hmm? I mean, the wound. Your eye glitch looks like it's worse. The scarf? Doesn't it hurt? I mean, do you need someone to talk to? Stop. I... I've accepted it. We both know it. I'm not going to live at the end. Forget me. Before I die, I just have to be certain. Papyrus will never suffer again. Now, this is the last we'll talk about it, okay? Okay. Hmm? Hey, Gino. Mind if I talk with the kiddo? Huh? Well, sure. Go ahead. Hey, Frisk, right? Good to meet the real one. So, Char can talk. Can you? You tell Sans that yes, you can speak. Ah, so then you're just the quiet type. You tell Sans that you guess you are. You already seem like a good kid, Frisk. He don't deserve to be stuck here. You tell Sans he doesn't know what he's talking about. Hmm, well, then how about this? We'll do a guessing game. If I'm right, you nod. And if I'm wrong, don't do anything. How does that sound, kiddo? So, that kid, Char, they're possessing your body? Mm-hmm. And they've been in your body only a short while? Mm-hmm. Okay, so did they possess you in the previous timeline? Mm-hmm. 
So, the first timeline I remember, you never had control. Only Chara did? Mm-hmm. And before that, in the timeline where everyone was murdered, did Chara alone kill everyone? No response. I think I got it now. So Frisk. You tell Sans to wait. You say if he's going to guess your life story anyway. You may as well tell the story yourself. Many lifetimes ago, I came to the underground. And the very first person I talked to went by the name Chara. Chara told me they had died there in the underground. Chara promised to help me out of the underground. And they did. And when we finally got above ground again, all our new friends came with us. While in the underground, I had discovered a secret power inside of myself. Determination. My determination was so strong, I could go back in time whenever I pleased. And I loved meeting everyone so much. I loved having family and befriending each and every monster so much that I used this power, this determination, to do it all over again. For a while, it was fun. Sometimes they remembered me, if only a little bit. But friending them over and over again eventually got boring too. Even Chara was getting tired. And that's when Chara first suggested it. Hey, Frisk! You know? Why don't we try killing them? It's not like we can't just erase the damage we do later. Why don't we try something new? Why don't we see what happens? To blame Chara would be a lie. Chara was right. I could just fix it later, you know? I expected that response. At first, I killed a couple monsters. And I reset from the guilt. But then I did it again. I experienced every ending. I took every path. I found every secret. And, Sans, you, you, the first time of many I fought you, took 536 tries to kill you. But I still succeeded. Huh? Wait, 536 tries? And your first time of many? You mean, you killed me many times after that? Yes. The first time took longest, too. And throughout every reset, Chara got darker, more disturbed. And the influence they had over me got stronger. I had never seen the side of my friend. Chara wanted everyone to hurt. Chara, deep down, wanted to make everyone suffer. After I killed you the first time, I realized Chara was going to do something bad. So, before I reached Asgore, I reset. I relived and reset the world over and over again. A hundred lifetimes. A thousand? I don't know. Eventually, Chara got their way. I killed Asgore. And Chara? Chara took my body as their own. And when that happened, I was ejected from my body and ended up in the save screen. A soul with no body, and an old friend waiting for me. Of course, I'm referring specifically to you. I knew immediately it was the first hands I had killed. I had never seen you so mad before. I ran, begged, pleaded. I told him, it wasn't me, it was Chara. But he knew I was a liar. I ended up pinned. I begged him not to destroy my soul. I knew he wouldn't listen. But for some reason, like he had an idea? He stopped, then knelt down and said to me, Hey kiddo, why don't we just forget all this, okay? Come here, pal. I'm tired of all this fighting, aren't you? You tell Sans, since you took his hand, he's been nothing but kind. He lets you play with the gasters. He makes sure you're never lonely. It's... You tell Sans, 
It's, it's almost, almost too, too much, much kindness, kindness to bear. Hmm. Because, because you don't, don't deserve, deserve it, it right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. You know, I noticed that while you told me the story, that your glitch disappeared, or whatever that was. Why is that? You tell him, because I'm tired of hiding behind my guilt. I want to write what I've wronged. I want my body and my determination back. <laughs> well, that settles it. We know how to fix this whole thing. We have to trick Char into entering the save screen. With you, me, and Gino Sans, kids should stand a chance. Then, we get your body back. You tell Sans that would be nice. However, it would never work. Because you would be playing right into Gino Sans' hands. And you really don't want to do that. Kid, what? Sans! No, 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 no. How could I screw up this badly? Again? Papyrus. God, I'm so sorry, Papyrus. I'm so, so sorry. Whoa, whoa. Gino, what's going on? Sans, you have to go back. Now. I messed up. I should have... I wasn't watching. I should... Sans! It's Papyrus! Papyrus? What happened? No time. When you wake up, head towards Waterfall. Go! Now! No, no. It's okay. It didn't hurt this time. I'm fine. I... Huh? Frisk. Your... Where are your glitches? You tell Gino Sans. I'm sorry. I can't go through with it. There has to be a better way for everyone, and a better way for you. <laughs> so, kid, what exactly did you tell Sans? You tell Gino Sans enough. This is what I get for trusting my killer to stick with me on this. <laughs> I am too nice, but I gave you a chance, and you failed. Ah, well, what can you do? Anyway, you've officially lost freedom privileges, you dirty little traitor. Huh? Let me through! I mean it! The kid tried to stab you! I was trying to protect you! Huh? Sans, go to Waterfall! The kid... The kid is alone with the Pyrus! Huh? Wait, stop! Sans, I won't let you pass me! Huh? Did... he just teleport? Wait! No! Don't hurt my child! Papyrus... Papyrus! Where are you? No, 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 no! This wasn't supposed to happen! Please be okay! Please be... Huh? Papyrus? Best bro, but perhaps stop. This isn't funny. Cut it out. So stop it. Say something. This isn't funny. This isn't funny. <laughs> oh, I really disagree. Sans, I think this is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Memories, you're still really bad at this game. I mean, really? You remember I killed everyone you loved before, and then you go off and take a nap and leave me with them? Wow. <laughs> you must really hate your friends. I mean, seriously. All I had to do was pull out a weapon, any weapon, on Toriel without her seeing it to enrage and dine. Obviously they'd fight, and obviously if Papyrus would try to protect me, you all became so predictable over time. This is all literal child's play. Anyway, you lost this round. Here, if it'll make you feel better, I'll let you kill me to start another reset. How's that? <laughs> Here we... huh? Kiddo. We've thrown a lot of words at each other in these last couple timelines, but we've never actually talked. So, I want to ask you, why? 
Why kill him? Papyrus. He's been nothing but good to you. Why hurt him? Don't you care? Even just a little? Come on, kid. There's got to be something in there. A good person? A good friend, maybe? I do like Papyrus. I've always liked Papyrus. But that's what you do when you love someone, Sans. When you love someone, you hurt them. And they hurt you. This is how the world works. Loving your brother will cause you more pain than anything else in the world. You'll see. It just always hurts. Child, my child, where are you? Uh-oh. Well, better do it now. I can't imagine the guilt she would feel if she knew that by protecting me, she got her new friend Papyrus killed. So, let's go. Don't want to hurt her too, right? Huh? Not in his scarf. Guess I'll see you next time, kid. Hello again. What will you do? He won't trust you now. Will you let him forget? Try again? No. No more. I'm going to tell him the truth. <laughs> You're desperate. This won't work. Aren't you tired? You hurt all the time. And every passing moment, you lose more of yourself. You should give up. Come with me. Let your pain end. In the void, you don't feel anything. What do you say? Do, do not, not touch, touch Papyrus! <laughs> That's your answer? Oh, Chino. I do feel sorry for you. You feel sorry for me? But look at you! No one even remembers you. I don't even remember you. Funny, because no one remembers you either. And yet, when you tell your last ally the truth, and he calls you a madman, please tell me. Who was in the sadder predicament? <laughs> hmm. Looks like we got a lot to talk about. Yeah. You have a lot you have to talk about. Where do the lies stop and the truth start? Because, because frankly, frankly I'm, I'm worn out, out from being yanked, yanked around. First off, the kid, Frisk. Where... where did you put him? Frisk is fine. I just locked him up. We need to talk. Alone. You're right. There is a lot I need to open up on. So, what's truth? What's lies? I can't trust you until I know. Something the matter, buddy? You're looking pretty chill to the bone. Yeah, sorry about that. I just had to scale a ton of things on my mind. Oh no, what a predicament. I know, I went to a doctor, but he wasn't very humorous. Sound familiar? It really should. I really have been here a very long time. And we've had the exact same conversation many times. Do you think this is the first lifetime I've brought you here? Man, though. I wish you weren't so stubborn. I thought maybe having the kid to help guide you to the right answers was the final piece I needed to get you to support me. So, then why? Why'd you lie about how long you've been here? Simple. Whenever I told you the truth, you'd figured out what I was doing. Then you'd try to stop it from happening. Alright. So what did I try so hard to stop? Before I tell you, I promise you'll listen to the whole thing. At least try to understand. Understand why I have to do this. Alright, I promise. This was never the original plan. Originally, I just wanted a way, some way, to escape and stop first myself. I knew I couldn't leave, 
and it took a few times to figure out how to pull someone else into this area. By the time I managed to pull you in, three full resets had occurred. I thought, with your help, we could stop the kid. But when I told you this, do you know what you told me? What? You told me there was no point in trying. You told me to give up. You told me that in the end we would just fail. That if what I said was true about the kid, nothing we did here could ever truly stop them. Huh. <laughs> Guess my extra determination makes a serious difference. Oh well. But I knew there was only one situation in which you would act. You would act if, and only if, there was a true threat to the timeline ending. If you believed the human would end our timeline forever, you'd finally give up and do something. So with every new timeline, and every new you, I tweaked the things I would say, I'd change what I'd tell you, and I'd fail, over and over again. Either you'd stop trying, or stop trusting me, and over and over again, I'd witness the pirates, and all my friends, suffering or dying. And that's when I realized, in a way, you were right. Nothing we did could stop their suffering. Just taking the human out wouldn't stop Flowey, or any other threat. We would all keep suffering, whether the kid was there or not. At that point, I had given up. I was going to leave the save screen, and finally let myself die. There was no point in trying, right? But at the last minute, I realized the solution. Do you see it yet, Sans? Come on, we're a smart guy. After all, I've mentioned it before. Chara's plan. Ending this timeline forever? Chara. Frisk. They couldn't care less about that. Me? I can't think of a better way to protect Papyrus. That expression. No, just listen. You just bring Chara here. That's it. Bring them here. I'll restrain them. I'm positive they have to press the reset button while they're here, but I won't let them. I'll go back. Back into the timeline. Just long enough to end it. Flowey doesn't have more determination than me. They can't undo it. Please, Sans, it's the only way. It's the only way to save Tori, Asgore, Undyne, Elphys. It's the only way to save Papyrus. Help me end our timeline forever. Please, it's the only way. Gino, I want to see the kid. You think I... I... Sure. Here, look. See? Frisk is fine. I didn't hurt him, though they're in serious timeout. Weird, you're showing a lot of concern for the kid who started this mess. Gino, how would you know if that would work? If I brought Chara here, you can't restrain them if you leave, if you die. Well, you can't die here, but to the best of my knowledge, you can't heal either. I just have to hurt Chara so much, they fall into a coma. No biggie. No biggie? G Gino! Don't try to take a moral high ground. I'm not a sadist. I'm trying to be as honest with you as possible now, as direct as I can be. This is the only way. No, it's not! We have Frisk! If we can figure out a way to get Char out of the body, why are you so defensive about Frisk? They started it. They killed Papyrus first. Like I'd trust Frisk with that kind of power again. They killed everyone. They let Char have their body. But I can tell they regret it. Are you insane? Who cares if they regret it? They still did it! Are you really going to sweep the hell I've seen under the rug? That's not what I meant at all. It's not perfect, but it's better than ending our existence. There are too many holes. You don't know if this will work. You're trusting our murderer with the power to reset. You have no idea if your plan will work. Ending our timeline is everyone's only hope. No, it's not! Papyrus would never be okay with what you're doing! 
How dare you? How dare you use papyrus against me? <sighs> Whoa, all right, okay. I, I didn't mean it, Gino. We, we both lost papyrus today. Emotions are high. We're just on edge. Please, I don't want to be your enemy. Hmm, me neither. I, I'm sorry. I guess I just don't have very thick skin. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. Classic Gino right here. But, Gino, you have to understand why I can't accept this. I do understand, Sans. And you also have to see why I can't stop here. Why I have to move forward. I do. I guess people would think I should try to stop you. But there is no point, is there? No, there's not. Okay. Do what you have to do. Send me back in. Let me forget. And try again. I hope maybe the next sense will give you what you're looking for. So, good luck, Gino. I can't do this. I can't do this. Not again. God. Not again. I can't do this again. Gino! Gino, hey, what's happening? Hey! I get it now. The only reason you disagree with me, the only reason you push me away with every reset, is because you can't see what I see. But this time, you brought a scarf, just like I, we did, so long ago. I'm not going to let you go back and forget. No, I need you to see each reset for what they are. When you see every friend, every monster, live the same days over and over. When you see every situation repeat like a broken record. And when you see him die, again and again and you fall into despair. Then you'll finally see, this is our only way to stop this awful cycle. And you'll see for yourself why this timeline must end forever. What? No! Gino, wait! Sorry, Sans. I didn't want anyone to go through the hell I've seen. But what can I say? I guess we're just the type who has to learn everything the hard way. Gino, no! There is another way! A better way! Gino! What are you doing to Sam? Gino, stop! Oh, now you care about what's happening to Sam's? <laughs> if you must know, I'm making him relive your worst resets. It'll be hard to defend you when he really sees your worst. And he'll see the worst you did to him. The worst you do to everyone, he'll have to agree. <laughs> Is that all you got? Because if you think a couple bad timelines is gonna get me to cave, <laughs> buddy, you should really put more backbone into it. That's not funny. <laughs> I thought it was. Besides, make me live through any of your lies, any of those memories. Nothing will ever make me help you destroy everyone I love. Nothing. So either you make me forget, and you start all over again, or we try things my way. Sorry. Those aren't our only options. See you again soon. Maybe you just need more time. Papyrus? Of course. What's going on? It's so noisy out here. Sans, did you have a nightmare? Brother? 
please, say something. You are starting to worry me. <sighs> I'm okay, Paps. It's just... It's just... Really just... A nightmare. Already. <laughs> I told you, you should have done my plan. But no, you couldn't possibly believe you couldn't trust yourself. What will you do? Are you going to keep playing his game? Golly, you know he's not going to let you forget. Are you going to cave? How many more resets, Sam? Unless you agree, he'll keep this up. What will you do? I don't know. Wow! I think that's the most honest I've ever seen you! Oh well, seeing how awful you can be can be exhausting. I know! Oh! The world's been reset! Finally! Time to head back! Kali, watching you trapped here like this has been so funny! How much longer till you snap too? I just can't wait to see this play out! See you on the other side, buddy! <laughs> Is that my scarf? Oh, Paps. You caught me, bro. You were supposed to see it in the morning. Hmm? See the scarf? Yeah. I always thought your battle body was so cool. Kinda wanted one of my own. But I'm too lazy to make one. So I got a torn red tablecloth. I know my scarf ain't as cool as yours, but I thought it might be cool to match. Be battle brothers. <gasps> I can hardly believe it! This will help so much tomorrow at our post! I'd even say... <sighs> nah. Okay, Sans! Today is the day! <laughs> I can feel it, Sans! I can feel it! In my bones! Nah? Uh, k paps Got it. Hmm. Is something wrong? Huh? I thought you would have liked that. You know, feel it in my bones? Oh, yeah. Good one, Peps. And you ran into me. Usually if you fall asleep, you just collapse. Right there. And that scarf. You got it last night. Hmm. Sans, is there something you're not telling me? No. Nothing. Just an off night, you know? Bad time sleeping. Guess I got too anxious. You get it. Excited to be your battle brother and all. For a set of lazy bones like myself, it took a lot of energy- Sans, stop. Sans, just, just stop. Do you really think I can't see through this? You don't have to tell me what's happening. Really, brother, you don't have to tell me anything if you don't want to. I understand. I... I guess... I just need to say this. I just... Sans... I know, I know you, you better, better than, than anyone. anyone. And I also know you tend to... Well... <laughs> Sans! You're scaring me! What's going on? Papyrus, you don't tell me much, Sans. I can tell you hide a lot from me, a lot about you, and I also know that you probably believe you're protecting me by pushing away. But, Sans, I am an adult, and a most dedicated brother and friend, and I can handle it. No, I, I want to handle it, side by side with you. It's what you wanted to say, right, bro? Word for word. 
it's what you wanted to say. After a while, words just jumbled together, hearing it over and over, never ending like that. After a while, everything just stops having meaning. Papyrus, I, I, I'm so sorry. I don't know where that came from. Sans, I don't really understand what's going on. But if you've heard me say it all before, maybe, maybe too much? I mean, I don't remember saying anything, but anyway, if I say these things too much, it just means I really mean them. I worry because you're so closed off all the time. You act like things are fine all the time. Why? Because you think it will bother me? I... I don't want to hurt you. And how would you be hurting me? Papyrus, you're so cool. You're confident, happy, fun. I just... Bro, if I was open to you about everything, I can't. I just can't be the one to ruin that. I can't do that to you. What do you think this is doing to me, Sams? Huh? All this you're doing right now. The lying. The secrets. Watching as you slowly pull away from me. Pull away from everyone. Pretending you're fine? Like you're alright? When I can tell, you really aren't. What do you think this is doing to me? To you? Perhaps I had no idea. That's because the great Papyrus did not let you know. But I am not mad. I'm happy. I knew eventually if I was patient, you would finally open up to me. Though I would have rather you opened up before the creepy laughing. So sorry, bro. I was uh, not alright. So all this time, you've been waiting for me to talk to you? Why? Why? Because I love you, you bonehead! I had to make sure you knew I was here for you. I'd hate to think what would happen if you kept isolating yourself. Uh, that's it. Papyrus, that's it! Yes! Yes, it is! Wait, what are we talking about? Let's go, now! Sans, though I am excited to see you with so much energy, it is also a bit, er, uh, concerning. Oh, come on, bro. Trust me, I'd love to be nabbing right now behind a tree. But we gotta be ready in case some human walks through that door. Who knows, might be our lucky day. What? Sans, is, is that a human? Yep. Hey kiddo, no tutorial this time? Nope. Hey Sans, where'd you get that cool scarf? I just stole it from some bratty kid. Brother, you told me you made it. So what? You brought your bro here to rush to the part where I kill him, right? Wait, what? Nope. Got some other plans today. Trust me, it'll be killer. Is that a threat or a pun? Both. Sans, that's rude. Yeah. You know, I should apologize. How about a hug, pal? A hug? Oh, please. Hey, Gino! You win! I got the kid for ya! But this is your only chance to take them. I won't offer this again. So, what do you say? You want Chara? Come get them! Wow, I did drive you crazy. Nothing has happened yet. Uh? Well, hey, hey, that, that worked. worked. Good, Good to, to know. know. Sans, did you, did you teleport, teleport us into my closet, closet again? again? Wow, we it's bigger. bigger. Nope, nope not, not this, this time. time. Frisk? Sans, where are we? What's happening? <laughs> Kid, if I were you, I'd stay close by. 
Cause there's someone here who's been dying to meet ya. Papyrus. And the first slice goes to Chara. Oh, thank you, Miss Toriel. You know, you can call her mom. She loved that. Azriel. Azriel, we don't want to pressure Char into anything. Miss Toriel and Mr. Asgore are just fine. Oh, I'm really sorry. Nothing to be sorry for, dear. <laughs> don't worry about it. You're okay, son. You want me to call you mom and dad? Um. um well, my child, it has been brought up once or twice. And we do love having you here. But there is nothing to worry about. Don't do anything you don't want to do. You don't want me in your family. Huh? Why would you say that? Because I'm a bad person. Because when I start to care about people, they get hurt. I don't want to hurt you too. Chara, there are a lot of things in the underground that make life hard. But you are not one of them. Thank you, Dad, Mom, Azriel. You. Sans? Sorry, Paps. I hated just throwing you into this. This guy here? It's weird and complicated, but yeah, he's also me. Calls himself Gino, though. If you want to know what happens when I isolate myself, well, I guess he's the best example I can think of. You know, because he is me. Sans, do you think this is a joke? Nope, not at all. Then stop treating this like it is one! I'm not doing that at all. Things are a little too tense, though. Why? Why did you do this? Why did... I mean, why is he here? Don't know. You tell me. You teleported us here after all. Yeah! Will you two stop fighting? Sam, stop antagonizing... Uh, um, yourself? k -pops. And you! You... Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Hey kid, if you want to make it out of here, then don't let go. Sans! Hey, stop! You're really gonna hurt them! Hey, come here! That's not gonna work! Papai? Do you know what's going on here? Oh, yes I do! Okay, if that isn't going to stop whatever this is, what will? Let me out of here, then I can show you. And we'll stop this together. Sam! Why are you protecting that murdering brat? Because this is ending now. I ain't letting us do this to ourselves anymore. Though, I gotta admit, I'm disappointed in myself. I never thought, in any reality, that I'd be okay with fighting in front of Paps like this. I'm not okay with it! You brought him here! This is your fault! This is our fault, Gino. But he needs to be here. We always did too little, too late. We kept our secrets. We never bothered to tell the others. About the recess. About the countless lives we lived. I can only imagine how many secrets built up. How many timelines we played this game. What lies we feed Papyrus to protect him. What we kept from friends. Simple truth is, Gino, we were never good enough people to play the hero. 
Anyone else in our lives would be the better choice of that. Undyne? <laughs> She's one of the bravest of all of us. But Undyne? She can never break through this thick skull of ours. There's only one bag of bones in the whole underground that can do that. Why are you trying to hurt Sans? You don't seem like... like you really want to hurt him. I... I'm just so... tired. Hey, to be honest, Gino, I'm pretty bone-tired myself. <laughs> no one is allowed to cry when the Great Papyrus is around! I'm so sorry. This might finally be over. What is happening? Oh, yeah, right. You're here. Thanks for not murdering me, kiddo. Of course, how did Paps get in? Huh, <laughs> well look at that. Looks like determination ain't just held by the body. I swear, kid, I'll never understand your limitations. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if I got this right. You are both Sans. That I can see. Um, yes. But you also got hurt very badly. And split into two people? Well, yeah, pretty much. Oh. Wow, we. And these resets. They've been happening a long time? Yep. Sans... er... Uh, uh... Gino? Huh? I don't quite understand all this. And frankly, other Sans is still in big trouble for keeping such secrets. Sorry, bro. But... Hmm... I guess I just... Does... All that hurt? Oh... Well, you two have fun. Me and the kids are gonna hang out over there. Hmm. Are you sure? You don't have to leave. Nah. I want you two to have some privacy. Besides, I got something that me and the kiddos really need to talk about. Sans, don't try anything with them behind my back. We still need to talk about what to do with them. I haven't changed my mind. I know, I know. I ain't trying to pull one over on you. I honestly just want you and Paps to hang out. I know you need this. Believe it or not, we're still on the same side, Gino. And I truthfully just want to talk with them. Alright. Okay, thank you. Come on, kiddos. Huh? I'm not going anywhere with... Mm? Yeah, yeah, come on. Hey, what? I said no! This is still very strange. Yeah, sorry, bro. What? You have nothing to apologize for, brother. None of this is your fault. It sounds like it was out of your hands. You call me brother. Well, yes, of course. So, now I have two brothers. This will be very difficult to explain to everyone. I suppose you and Sans will have to explain it for me. I wouldn't know what to say. Perhaps. Yes? I... I won't be going back. What do you mean? I mean, if I leave this place, time will continue for me. I... I'll die, Paps. I didn't want you to know about that. I didn't want you to know about me. But... Sans... He's just making what I have to do harder. No. Unbearable. 
I just... Sorry. Please, just never mind. I disagree. Huh? I disagree that you will die. Not sure of how this death thing works, but I have died a whole bunch, right? And the great papyrus returns with each reset, correct? If I can come back, so can you. Bro, I don't really like how casual this conversation about your death is. Also, I think it's more complicated than that. Don't worry! <laughs> the great papyrus will figure it out! Well, before we deal with all that, there are the kids that gotta be dealt with. And they're the ones that hurt everyone. The one that caused the resets. Yeah. I feel kind of sorry for them. Ugh. <sighs> Perhaps. They're pretty young humans, aren't they? That is a lot of power for someone so young. I wouldn't think they know how to handle that, you know? I sure don't think I'd be able to. To reset time, to reset outcomes, sounds more like a curse than a blessing. <laughs> I mean, I can see that, bro. You're so cool and smart. I know! But now that the Great Papyrus is here, all these issues will end. You will no longer be alone. These children will stop hurting anyone. <laughs> yes! Through my amazing spaghetti and incredible friendship, no one can resist me. Then no one will want to upset each other anymore. Why is that? Because that would mean upsetting me, and no one would want that. Perhaps that is one foolproof plan. I know! Brother? Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, Sorry Pops. Pops. Just, Just thinking. Well, whenever you finally feel like telling me what's going on in that skull of yours, I'll be right here to listen. Oh, thanks, Pops. Uh, do you want to say anything or just stand there? Well, I could do both, but I don't like to multitask. You caught me off guard with Frisk and Sans 2.0 over there. Technically, kiddo, he came first. Guess I'm actually Sans 2.0. Hey, don't interrupt me! One moment you want me to talk, another you don't. Gee, I'm so confused. Wow, haven't you gone sarcastic? That isn't you at all. Sorry, kiddo. Watching my family and friends die over and over has made me less chummy. I'll try to be more sensitive to the killers who started all this. I'd hate to upset you. Quit it! So what is it? You want to say something to me? Not really, no. Then why did you drag us over here? Because I think it's about time you say something. Me say something? What are you talking about? I mean, it's about time we hear your story. <laughs> My story? Oh, I see. You think by me talking my feelings out will get me to change? How noble of you, Sans! What a great person you are! Is that what you want me to say, you hypocrite? Uh, kid, I don't really get where you're going with this. Oh, of course you don't, Sans. But you will. After all, remember what you did to the other fallen children? <sighs> oh, hoping dear Papyrus didn't hear that? After all, he wouldn't want Papyrus knowing who you really are. Tell me, Sam, how much did my father pay you to help drag crying, beaten children to his feet? Enough to buy a house? Enough to be set for life? And how the only thing that stopped you from doing the same thing to Frisk was a promise to some stranger through a damn door! When I came up the mountain, I wanted to end it. I knew that people who went up the mountain never returned. So I went up the mountain and fell to what I thought was my death. Instead, I ended up as a part of a family. Mom, Dad, Azrael. For the first time in my life, I felt safe. I had people who really seemed to care about me. I thought monsters were better in every way to humans. I was even convinced that monsters deserve the surface, and the humans should just, just die off. I tried to make it happen, and I failed. I only regained any consciousness once Frisk came here. 
My soul had managed to exist beyond my death, somehow. It was fun, you know? Traveling with Frisk, making friends with everyone. But things had changed since I was alive. My parents separated, and... A tutu here, a pair of glasses there, and the evidence of six dead humans at the request of my father. Monsters were supposed to be above all that! Monsters were supposed to be better! Monsters weren't supposed to kill like humans do! So I wanted to make you suffer. You, Papyrus, everyone. How does it feel, Sam? Stop! I'll be honest with you, kid. I don't know how much more I can take. I ain't gonna deny nothing. Never been a good bag of bones. I don't know if I made good decisions or bad ones. I just... I wanted to give monsters a chance on the surface. I wanted to give Paps the chance to be free. I don't care if Paps knows. I just... I'm tired. Aren't you? Can't we just drop this for good? For real this time? Please, kiddo. I'm... I'm begging you here. Please. All the effort it took to track me here, and all you can do to me is beg. Perhaps it's time to end this, Chara. No good is coming from this. End this? No good? You started this! You kept resetting! You killed them first! This all really started with you! I know. I am not avoiding blame. I do not have to agree with the reset. I did not have to hurt or kill anyone. Those were my choices. In the truth, the ability to reset time is a horrible thing to have. Having so much power over others, I stopped caring about how they feel, even though I cared about them. The desire to play with lives, to experience new outcomes, were too much. I've heard a lot of people some irreparably so. I deserve to be punished for it. But more than anything, I want to try and help fix this mess I made. I want to reset and get everyone to the surface. Then I'll never reset again. And I want you to be there, Chara. Humans and monsters aren't perfect, but I think most people try to be the best person they can be. And I want to see that side of them again. That side of you, too. I can't reset here, can I? Not in the traditional way, no. I've beat Sans before. I can still kill everyone here. No one can die here. You might have beat Sans before, but that was only one. Here, there are two. Do you think you can win without resetting on your side? Chara. Bring me my body back. Let's play our game one last time. Let's get everyone to the surface and end this awful cycle for good. Okay. You're gonna make it worse, you know? Monsters think the surface is paradise. They won't be accepted by humanity. You're going to build up their hopes just to crush them with how horrible reality can be. I guess that could happen. But as bad as people can be, I've seen a lot of good people, too. I guess we'll see who will be right. I guess you will, Frisk. Despite our differences, you were a good friend. A better person than I could ever be. Maybe, if I had met more people like you. Just, maybe. Take good care of them, Frisk. Do a better job than I could ever do. Kid. Okay, okay, kid. I got gotcha. you. I'm here. Kiddo, I don't know how to tell you this. Chara's soul. It's gone. What? Chara! Chara! We were supposed to do better together. Where did you go? You didn't have to do this! Come back! Chara! The 
human. Did... Are they dead? They've been dead for a while, Paps. They just finally... accepted. A, but on a lighter note, Frisk got what they wanted. Their body is no longer possessed. Sounds. That seems a bit cold, does it? Sorry, Paps. I had a hard time finding sympathy here. Call it a bit spiteful, but... I figure it was about time the kiddo feels what it's like. Kid, that's enough moping around. Time to get up. So, you're the only one who can save them. Yes. You'll get them to the surface, and you'll never reset again. Yes. Not just us, Gino. When it's done, we'll find a way to get you out of here. Right. Don't worry, me and Paps will be going back in with our memories this time. If you're worried the kid could cause problems, this time, you got backup. I know you don't believe this will work, I'm not sure if I do either, but I gotta have faith on this. I gotta believe things will work out for us this time, you know? Sans, don't sit there and think I agree with this, because I'm not doing anything. The kid can't be trusted. If you're so determined to try your way, fine. But after this fails, we're doing things my way. Gino, I know you don't trust me. I don't blame you. But give me this chance. You have no reason to trust me now, but I will not let you down anymore. I've just never had to do this alone. But you won't be alone, human! This time I'll be with you through it all! You are too kind, Papyrus. Yeah! I am very kind, aren't I? It's why I'm so great! Well, see you on the other side, buddy. Yeah.
Come on, kid. I'm surprised you're so happy, Gino. You forgot me, didn't you? Too busy watching your screens and still hiding your eye. <sighs> what do you want? Reminding you that you're running out of time, Gino. What will you do when this journey is over? Your plan, ending time itself, failed horribly. Now you're watching the child befriend everyone. You're cheering on your murderer. Everything you fought for came to nothing. Do you really think they'll come back for you once they reach the surface? And if you leave, you will die anyway. Isn't it time you gave up? There really is nothing left for you now. Just give up. I did. We. Oui. That didn't come from him. That came from... me. Why even try? You'll never see him again. Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. Just give up. You'll never see him again. No! I'm gonna root for the kid. Now I think it's about time you get the hell away from me. Why are you doing this, Gino? All I've ever done is try to help you. Help me? You tried turning me away from everyone but you. You tried to bring me so much despair that I'd practically begged to join you in the void. I don't know why you want me in the void, but let me make it clear. I will never join you in there. If you accept that, if you let me alone and we don't have to fight, then maybe, if you don't try anything, I'll come visit you here. Then I won't have to attack you again to make a point. I know how being alone like this can drive someone crazy. So, if you need to talk, I can listen. You will die if you leave. You know this. But you act like you won't. I think the pirates will come through for me. If you are so determined to do this, then I will not waste my time anymore. There are others who will say yes to my proposals. They will take an easy way out in the void. Then perhaps the void will not feel so empty. Either way, you will regret not taking my offer, Gino. Goodbye, Gaster. Hello, brother! Hi. Hi. What happened? Technical difficulties? With your head! Sure. Doom! Uh... Why didn't you tell me this too? Whoops. Come on, Paps. Don't be so hard on them. He's not in his right mind right now. Yeah. In fact, I'm feeling a little... lightheaded lately. <laughs> you can't seriously be doing this right now. Well, that head of yours is looking pretty sparse, but to make you feel better, the surface is amazing. Have you looked at it yet? Nah, I've been avoiding that. Well, no more avoiding for you! Today is the day! We're going to get you out of here! I... Papyrus, I... I want to believe you, but... Just... Just look at me. I... I don't think I could. I see your concern. However, we have an idea. Human? Huh? When you first traveled into the save screen, your HP was going down to zero, right? Yeah. But it stopped when you entered the save screen, so you didn't die. Pretty much. Well, as long as you still have some HP, why can't we just heal you back to full? What? what? Yeah, 
this pie heals you back to full HP, so however much you need to live, it can hopefully do. Are you okay? No, it can't be. It can't possibly be this simple. Uh, who thought this up? The Great Papyrus, of course! I, with my incredible intellect and quick wit, spent many hours into the night trying to solve this most difficult puzzle. That is when our dear human said, why don't we just use the pie? And it all clicked! I think it'll work, Sans. I really think we can get you out of here. Gino, you don't have to do this. No one will force you if you ain't... No. No, Sans. I have to try. I want to do this. If this doesn't work, I'd never be mad at you for it. Never. I'd just be grateful I had more time to spend with you. With all of you. It fixed your... Uh, oh. Is it bad? Huh? No, no, you look great! Hey, Paps is right. You didn't dust or anything. Yeah, I'm just so mad. This whole time I could have escaped. I could have re-entered the world. I could have done something. You wouldn't have known it would work. Besides, I'm glad you didn't. You would have kept trying to hurt everyone. I think this is far better. Yep, I think so too. Hey, there you are! Come on, the movie is starting in an hour. We can't hang in these mountains all night. <sighs> Sans, what the hell? Language, please. When you said there was a second Sans hiding in these damn mountains, I thought it was some bad joke. I don't tell bad jokes, only good ones. I really freaking disagree. Undyne, brother number two calls himself Gino. He's shy. Say hi, Gino. Hi. He's sort of kind of from another time? Timeline? Dimension? Either way, he's staying with us. You're from another dimension? I knew they existed, but I'd never seen direct proof before. Well, I sort of am from another dimension. It's complicated. Uh, I know you got a lot of questions, but you mentioned you were going to a movie? Yeah. I don't want to make you late for it. And, uh, to be real honest, I don't really want to talk about myself right now. And 
I can't think of anything I'd rather do than hang out with all of you at the movie, if you let me come. I see. I suppose it depends on Frisk. Frisk, do you believe this man should join us? Well, that seems to settle it. Frisk trusts you, so I see no reason not to. You are welcome to join, Gino. And I'd love to learn more about you. I, I mean, when you're ready. Well, I don't get all this, but if the little punk likes you... I sure hope you're not as lazy as the other one! We gotta run down this mountain to make it on time! See you at the bottom, chumps! What? I'm dying! They'll never catch us! I'm dying! Hey, Sam. Yeah? Does this mean Alphys is going fly fishing? <laughs> Toriel, you go to be kidding me. Oh my god, you guys! Anyway... I'm taking this set of lazy bones back to the car. Ready to head out? Yes. Wonderful. Oh, and Gino? Yeah? This is all very odd, but welcome to the family. Tell us what happened in your own time. Do not worry. Oh, thank you. Frisk, let's go, dear. Your bones are a bit hard to move, correct? Then allow the great papyrus to carry you to the car! Perhaps you realize it'll be really different. There are two brothers now. Gino, listen. You've got to stop doubting yourself. We want you here! Besides, the worst you do is make twice as many puns. If I will be honest, I don't really hate puns. In fact, I quite enjoy them! No way! Hmm. Does the Great Papyrus detect sarcasm? The Great Papyrus also tends to make way more puns than he thinks. I sort of assumed. Yeah? It can't be! Looks like the skeleton is out of the closet on this one. Well, Gino, I think that is still up for debate. Besides, we don't want to miss the movie. Actually, Gino, you love the city too. The humans don't seem to mind us. In fact, I think they like us. And there are lots of things to see and do. Almost too much. I, it could take forever to see it all. I wouldn't worry about that, Paps. After all, there is always tomorrow.